It's finally time to make some sounds. In this first tutorial, we'll go over the classic subtractive synthesis, which uses oscillators and filters. Let's investigate the oscillator module properly, since it contains some stuff available in other modules as well. First, let's check the pitch panel. The only parameter worth explaining is the pitch mode. Normal mode is what you'd expect the oscillator to do. It follows the pitch of the key you pressed. And if glide is active, it follows that too. First, the ignore glide mode is similar. It just doesn't glide and jumps directly to the new pitch. But what is interesting is the constant mode which plays a single pitch no matter which key you press. What could that be for? For instance, drum synthesis, or more advanced creative experiments. But even in this first tutorial, we'll see a use for it. Just wait a bit. Next, let me enable Unison. Unison feature in most synths simply eats up voices. In M Sound Factory, it's quite different. You can already see that enabling Unison in this oscillator wouldn't enable it in any other oscillator. It doesn't eat up voices. It literally creates Unison voices inside the oscillator itself. The parameters are quite self-explanatory. Just let me play with it a bit. Finally, the transformation panel lets you change the shape in various potentially modulated ways. Note that the anti-aliasing cannot fix this, so you will likely need at least the highest quality setting. Let me show you a few transformations. What the oscillator shape can do is far beyond a typical oscillator, and there's a dedicated tutorial about it. Check the links below. So, a basic oscillator, which isn't that basic after all. Next piece in the puzzle is a filter. Let's go with Filter Basic. Let me play a bit and change frequency and resonance while playing.
next typical thing would be to modulate the frequency using an envelope and increase the modulation to let the filter open a bit more. Now if I play some low and high notes, you'll notice they sound kind of the same. Which is good, but not what you may expect if you've been using analog synths or other synths for that matter. For simplicity reasons, most synths have filters with a constant frequency. To do that, change the pitch mode to constant. It's the same parameter the oscillator has. Notice how frequency is no longer in octaves, but in hertz. This is pretty much a full subtractive synth. You can make more oscillators and filters, but that's pretty much it. Let's check other filters as well. First, there's all pass, which seemingly does nothing. It only alters the phase. But let me attach an LFO to it and set the frequency to, say, 30 hertz. Nice bass sound. The modulation of phase does something like the pulse width modulation. Next filter is bandpass. And it's just like having two filter basic, but it also lets you control the slope from six decibels per octave to a staggering 120 decibels per octave. Next filter is called, well, filter, and it's quite more advanced. First, it has an amp featuring input distortion and output saturation, and it has a huge set of filters. Let me attach an LFO to the frequency and show you a few of them. <laughs>
Then there's our well-known filter basic, which you know, but let me show you a bit of an issue with it. Let me attach the LFO to the frequency, turn down the volume, enable safety limiter, and increase the LFO rate to a bit of an obscure speed. Above a certain frequency, the filter starts being highly unstable. So if you need such a brutal modulation, filter fast comes to save the day. It requires more CPU power, but it can be modulated really quickly. Modal filter is a bit unique. It creates a set of bandpass filters at the locations of harmonics. To see what I mean, let me use a noise generator instead of the oscillator. It lets you create up to 32 harmonics with bandpass order up to eight. it places the harmonics at various frequencies and even interpolates between them using an XY pad. To do that, first load something in each of the A, B, C, D slots. A preset will do for now. Then just play something and move the XY pad. Modal filter is a really cool module for various physical modeling. Just note that it can take quite some CPU depending on the number of harmonics. Oscillator shaper isn't a filter in the typical sense. It's more like a wave shaper based on an oscillator shape. I'll skip this one. Peak filter is really what the name suggests, a peak filter. It works the exact same way as other filters. Resonator is an interesting physical modeling filter based on a pitch following comb filter. It is a basis for simulating a string. Physical modeling is rarely based on oscillators, so I'll keep the noise generator in there and use it to generate just a short attack. I'll lower the volume to minimum and map the attack one to that. It will create just a short noise burst. Now I'll put a resonator after it and set the feedback to maximum. And play a few notes. A bit like a string, right? And finally, turbo filter. At the moment, it's a work in progress. Mainly, there are no presets but this one lets you program a filter of your own by combining some basic filters. By default, the algorithm is, well, a low pass fast, exactly the same thing as the filter fast module would do, but it can do much more than that. Perhaps when you're watching this, there are various presets and algorithms already available. We have checked all the filters currently available, so let's get back to the generators. We've already checked the oscillator and the noise generator but there's another typical tool in subtractive synthesis, wavetables. There are four of them, and these are pretty much the same. 
The only difference is the maximum number of waves in each. The reason is simple. Optimization. The more waves, the higher the memory and CPU requirements. So let me stick with the minimum here and bring up wavetable 8 and load some wavetable presets. The wave parameter controls which wave is currently rendered. So let's attach an LFO to it. Full range. You probably notice that there are just three waves, but there are no discontinuities, gaps, or anything. It just sounds great. That's because the engine internally interpolates between the waves. So there are virtually infinite waves between each two. Let me enable Unison and show you a few other wavetables. How to make wavetables? First, we supplied over 600 wavetable presets. Then you can edit each wave manually. And finally, you can analyze audio files and extract the waves from them. And load dedicated wavetable audio files. The rest of this module is pretty much identical to the oscillator module, so you already know all of that. Well, now you're a master of subtractive synthesis.